out and check the old thermometer on the wall. Today is February 8th. There's my dog Izzy. Let's see what we got for a temp here. Ooh, another 30 degrees. I caught it. Let's see if I can get it here. I gotta get it to register a little bit. There we go. 30 degrees. Just below freezing, so. Get my gear on. We'll go out for a little ride. Odometer reading. 39559.7. 39559.7. We have one week left of the polar bear challenge and about the same amount of time left for the solar bear challenge. I don't think, uh, like the polar bear challenge, I don't think there's a uh, limit to when you can sign up. So if you still want to jump in and participate, I know very well in the Polar Bear Challenge, I mean, even the last three days, you do have the possibility of uh, making it all the way and qualifying, but uh, nobody will even object if you uh, join and only get a ride or two in if you know, you just do what you can do. This year has been a strange one. It seemed like this year was tailor-made for the Solar Bears rather than the Polar Bears. I wanted to give a quick mention too I'm not gonna talk about it for long because plenty of people have talked about it and there's uh, no new news I can add to it but uh, a rather sad loss to the vlogging community Sven passed away uh, last time I even communicated with him was about a year ago until he stopped by um, about five days ago and left a comment on one of my videos which uh, was kind of cool after I hadn't heard from him in quite a while but I'd been following actually his other newer channel geocache spoilers so let me just say that if you get a chance uh, the guy has left a great legacy to the community let's think about him for all the positive things he did which were many and uh, my favorite thing was his new channel geocache spoilers I like it and I hope it stays up and for years to come it's going to uh, really be a service to that community my friend Wachuka writer Chuck, same first name as me, got me interested in starting to watch caching videos, people doing geocaching. And for those that don't know what it is, it's taking little containers of various types and hiding them and then people using GPS coordinates. Um, you go out and try to locate where they've hidden these little caches of various things. And there's, uh, you know, all kinds of other little things you can do in the geocaching world. I would mostly like to talk today about my thoughts about the new YouTube look. I can, I can live with it, the uh, overall look seems to be okay but as far as having to change your channel to the new look it's kind of crappy um, I did change my mind about one thing I was going to think about how I was going to talk about how I think it's pretty much you're losing a lot of the functionality by not being able to see who somebody sub to or their subscribers but I also gave it a second thought and I'm thinking uh, if you go to my channel, you'll see that I'm over a thousand subscribers now, but that's kind of like useless information because I don't think even half of those people ever even come to my channel anymore. So if it's going to be useful, it has to be somewhat of a true list. And I would say realistically, I probably have about 400 people that probably come to my channel on a semi-regular basis occasionally, and maybe half of that come in a somewhat regular basis, and even half of that amount, maybe a hundred people do it on a real regular basis. I'm not going to trigger the signal here, so i got to wait for the green. So maybe the better way would be just to, uh, once you've hooked up with one moto vlogger, use the comments section to see who's really active and participating, especially if it's the moto vlogging community and you want to hook up with other moto vloggers. Plus, I would suggest, like I did on a comment to another video, that people give more shout-outs. Make that a more regular thing. For example, uh, if you're doing a video right now, just uh, three people you're currently watching. doesn't have to be 
in order of rank or say these people are better than another. Just three right now that come to your mind. And I was thinking uh, right now, people that I'm following would be um, one is named Wild Bill. There's some numbers after it too, but I'll, I'll put the links down here. I'll put three channels. And one is Wild Bill. The other one is, let me think of who else I'm following right now. Actually, this is somebody that's not a moto vlogger so much, but uh, he does stuff on uh, prepping. Demcad is his name. And then, uh, let me think of a third person just offhand that I am uh, following and watching. Seven Hunted. Let me put another one in there too. I've been following. There's a little discussion going on between Seven Hunted and uh, Jesus Freak too. He's one that uh, he's a fellow Christian too, but we don't even as Christians agree totally on every subject, and we get in some interesting discussions back and forth that tend to uh, really run quite long in the comments. But that's part of what I enjoy about YouTube too, when you can get somebody that uh, you can have a civilized discussion with. And uh, it's not spelled normally, it's spelled with a G, Jesus Freak, and I'll put, so I'll put those channels down in the comments that these are people that are actually current and uh, active, rather than, uh, I'm still at the old channel view, so you can go and see my subs and my subscribers, but you know, um, unless you want to go and see older stuff, I mean, most all of my people that I'm sub to were active at least at one time but some of them haven't been active in a real long time and I don't typically myself when I go to a channel I don't typically go back into the past to see a lot of stuff not because there's anything bad about that but I just I can barely keep up with what's currently being pumped out there and I'm the reason why I subscribe to people is I really want to see their content so if I'm even making a half hearted attempt to be able to keep up with their content there's no way I am going to have the time to go and uh, go back to their old stuff and look that over because if somebody has several hundred videos that they've made in the past, I mean, you could spend days and days doing that, and by the time I would look at their old stuff, current subscribers of mine would have scrolled way off the page, and I'd never see their current content. So here's hoping I didn't ramble over too far over 10 minutes, possibly. Ending mileage, 39566.4, 39566.4.